guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I want to talk to you guys about the worst slash most disappointing books that I read in 2020. So we don't have too many here to talk about which is a good thing, like that's a very good thing. <laughs> right into the video so first up here I have Maybe Not by Colleen Hoover. I don't know why <laughs> I thought to reread this but when I read it like four years ago I really liked it because it was just like a short novella smut thing of one of her other books maybe someday and it's part of that series. And then I read it again this year <laughs> and it was so bad and I was like oh wow <laughs> like a lot of people like I haven't seen many people read a lot of Colleen Hoover as much anymore or like if it is it's like the new releases and stuff but this one is just so it's such like a, a toxic relationship just the things that the characters say to each other it's just so not right and yeah honestly the the scenes in it are just honestly funny like they're not supposed to be but they're funny so yeah, I, I reread this this year and I was like, why did I give it a, such a high rating like years and years ago? Why? <laughs> Next up here, I have 2 a.m. Thoughts and this is by Mackenzie Campbell. This is a poetry collection that I ended up reading and it was perfect. Like I read it around 2 a.m. <laughs> and it was just like in the middle of the night. I just wanted to read some poetry, right? And it just it wasn't great. I just really didn't like the author's writing style and I found myself not really connected to a lot of the poems and I found a lot of them were very repetitive and just not enjoyable for me. So that was like a disappointing one this year. Next next I have Honeybee by Trista Matur and this is like a most disappointing one because I heard I had heard such good reviews for this and I really liked her book Aphrodite Made Me Do It but this one I just really really did not like. Same with um the dogs I have kissed. I ended up DNFing that one because it was, I could not get through it. Like it was a struggle to get through this book and it was <laughs> really unfortunate because I do really like Aphrodite made me do it so I would recommend that one but these two were like so disappointing for me and I was so sad about it. <laughs> Next here I have What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This is like a more disappointing one. It was still like an okay read. It was like I think a three star read for me. I love Becky Albertalli's books but like Adam Silvera I haven't enjoyed the works I've read by him. I only read one I think but I really didn't like it and so I was a little nervous because I was like I got one of my fave authors here and then an author that I just didn't really enjoy his work but this book was really interesting. It's about two boys in New York City and it's like a love at first sight kind of story. One of them is just going through a breakup with his previous boyfriend and it's at the post office and they meet for the first time and they go on like little adventures around New York and it's honestly so cute and like they're one of, like one of them's looking for the other and I really like that about this but unfortunately it just wasn't like my favorite and yeah but I'm really excited for whatever Becky Albertalli writes in the future. I still will pick up like anything she writes so yeah but this one was just it wasn't like the worst it was just a little disappointing for me that's all. <laughs> Next here I have My Eyes Are Up Here by Laura Zimmerman and I was so sad about this one because this is like a book that was supposed to be about like body positivity. It was like a new YA contemporary. I got an arc and I was so excited about it and it was just very weird. Like not like just weird but it was like her boobs were personified the entire story and they had names and I just thought that was so strange and like I did a poll on Twitter to see if anyone like agreed with me I was like am I the only one that thinks this is weird and most people were like yeah personifying body parts is kind of weird so I don't know it was just yeah but the book essentially is about a girl who has like uh, I forget exactly what her bra size is but it's like a, a G or it's it's something that's like um, that you have to get custom bras made for it. So I thought that like representation was like nice to see and stuff because I know there's not a lo lot of books like that but I just thought it was weird that they were personified. That was like my, <laughs> I just thought it was a little weird but yeah. And lastly here we have The Truth About Magic by Atticus. I really enjoyed Atticus's first work Love Her Wild and then the second one the dark one was okay as well. Uh, I think this author does a really good job of like poems that just hit hit me but also like beautiful illustrations that go with it that make it like so nice and I the, her, the books are like 20, 22, 25 bucks so I didn't want to buy the newest release because I was a little bit worried if I didn't like it and I was right I didn't end up liking it so that's that's the one I'm talking about but I just thought all of these like there was just a miss like this 
collection was just a miss for me and I was so sad but I'm still gonna like pick up stuff that Atticus writes in the future it's just I'm just a little bit more skeptical now but I am glad I did not purchase it because I really didn't know really did not end up liking it. So there you guys have it. That was a super short and sweet kind of video, but I hope you guys still liked it regardless. Let me know your most disappointing or your least favorite book of, that you read this year. I will also have my Vlogmas playlist linked down below. I worked super hard on it and I would love if you guys would check it out. And I will also link my best books of 2020 video down below. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you all super soon with a new video.